Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my November skincare, hair care, and makeup empties. I've been collecting these throughout the month, and as you guys will see, I do have a lot of empties, but I do have a lot of smaller sample size, things like that, because I am really trying to get my numbers down before I have to do my inventory uh, at the beginning of January. So um, actually, I'm looking at my collection here. I don't have any hair care empty, so I guess it's just going to be skincare and makeup. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, I do have my playlist down below of everything I've used over the year. I will be doing a December empties, and then I will be doing my year-long makeup empties. So that is coming up. I'm not keeping any of my skincare. It's just makeup that I want to collect, that I have been collecting throughout the year to show to you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. As always, I'm going to start with the skincare items first. So I did finish off four of these sheet masks. These are the 111 skin sheet masks. I got a set of five in my BoxyCharm and I finished off the last four over this month. I don't think they're worth it. They're valued at $27 each, which is ridiculous. And uh, they are very perfumey and my face smelled like perfume for a couple hours after I used them. The next item I finished up was some bath bombs. These are the Me Bath, I think is the brand, and it's coconut lime. I had four left in here, came with a total of six bath bombs. I finished this off. So I'm really happy about that, and I am pleased that I've remembered to use them up before the end of the year. The next item I have, let's go ahead and go into lotions. I did finish off this Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower. This is a body lotion. I did just show this in my Throwback 30 Project Pan and I did finish this off. I did try to tip it upside down and get every last bit of product out of here. So I'm happy that this one isn't empty. I love this um, lotion, it works great. It's just not cruelty free. And then I did use up a hand cream. This is the True Blue Spa Shea Cashmere Hand Cream. I did cut it open to get everything out of here. And this is uh, a brand that is made by Bath and Body Works. So again, it's not cruelty free. This is my favorite scent. I absolutely love this. And I do have four more of these that I am working on or that I need to work on, I should say. I did use up and finish this fresh soy face cleanser. I am so happy this is gone. This is not my favorite. Got this in a boxy charm. I used it up. It's gone and I don't have any more of this. It smells like cucumbers, but um, it, I just don't think it does a very good job cleaning at all. Um, and I don't ever really feel like my face is clean. Oftentimes when I would do um, some of my masks that have to be washed off, I would have to wash at least twice with this soap or other soaps I can just wash it once and I feel like my face is clean, I'd have to go in a second time with this soap. So I am glad it is gone and out of my collection. Oh, I should have put this with the um, bath bombs, but I did finish off this white citrus bubble bath. I found this and another bubble bath underneath my sink when I cleaned it out. I didn't even have this in my inventory and this one was really low so I went ahead and just finished this one off so I have an empty for this year. So now I'm just down to one bubble bath and I'm not going to be buying any more. I don't want any more bubble bath. Next I finished off the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime. I absolutely love this. I love the scent of it. I originally bought body scrubs in the hopes that they would help me with like the rough skin on my feet, but these are just not strong enough and I don't really feel like I need this for my body. So this is my last body scrub and I no longer have any others in my collection. However, if I did need one uh, for my body, I would absolutely buy this again. The scent is divine um, and I really did enjoy using this. I just wished it worked better on my feet. So that's why I won't be buying that one anymore. I did finish off a nail polish. This is the OPI Nail Lacquer. This is in the shade, let's see, I gotta look on here because it's not on the bottle. Um, Lisbon Wants More. So this came in a little set of four OPI nail polishes. This is the last one, and so I finished all four of them this year. Um, terrible formula, glad this is out of my collection. I did have an, one of these empty last month. This is a Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Mask. I've told you guys multiple times, don't really think this does anything. I'm glad it's gone, but I would not buy this. I do have a perfume. This is uh, by Philosophy. It's called Amazing Grace in Magnolia. Um, I did finish this one up. Um, 
This is such a subtle scent that, you know when you put on perfume and then throughout the day you can like smell your arm and you can smell it? No, this one is so light, I couldn't smell it um, after I put it on and it dried down. So I wouldn't repurchase this unless you guys are looking for a very subtle, soft scent. This would be great, but um, not my favorite, so I won't be repurchasing this one. And then I think I have one last body care um, or skincare item. This is the Luna Retinol Sleeping Night Oil from Sunday Riley. And this one is completely gone. I thought it was just the packaging that was blue, but the product itself is blue um, as well. And this, when I wore this with the overnight mask, it was a or one from Origins, and I would put that together with this, my skin looked so greasy and so oily and I have normal skin and my skin has never looked oily. But this combined with that was terrible. But now since I've used this with, um, I forget what the name of it is in my Throwback 30 Project Pan, there's a night mask I'm working on in there. These work great together. So I hated it with the Origins one, but I um, find it's okay with the other one that I'm working on. It's again, not my favorite. I don't really feel like I need an oil in my routine, so I would not repurchase this. So those are all of the skincare items. I think I've gotten to all of them. I have finished off 14 skincare items and they are valued at $247.46. And a lot of that is because of those sheet masks are valued at $27 each. But of the 14 that I finished, seven of them were not cruelty free. So I'm happy that half the items I finished up weren't cruelty free and they are out of my collection. Now let's get to the makeup. I actually have more makeup empties than I do skincare and I'm really pleased about that. Um, let's go ahead and start with primers. I did finish off two of these samples from Too Faced. These are the Glitter Glue Shadow Primers. I did use these. I got about three uses out of each of them. They work phenomenal. Um, my eyeshadow would stick to them. I didn't have it flaking or anything throughout the day. These were fantastic. I, I might buy uh, this in the future if I need to. I do have a full size NYX one and I haven't tried that yet. Uh, when obviously NYX is a lot less expensive than Too Faced, but these were really good and I did enjoy using them up. I do have a couple of face primers. I used up two of these little Too Faced Hangover RX replenishing face primers. Got these at random times as a gift with purchase. These are more like a moisturizer to me and they're just not my favorite. I mean, they did okay. I don't hate them, but they're just not my favorite. Instead, I prefer primers like this that have more of a silicone feel to them, which I know is not for everybody. But I used up this Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer, and I loved this. Um, I don't have very large pores, but what I do have is lots of fine lines, and so this really helps with it, and that's, I think, why I enjoy these kind of pore filling, silicone type feeling primers. So I really enjoyed this one. Next, let's move over to concealers. I did finish this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Concealer in Light Pale. As you guys can see, this one is completely gone. Um, I don't remember what project I worked on for this one, maybe Beauty A to Z. I don't know, there's too many projects. I lose track of which one these are in, but I did really enjoy this one. Um, it went really fast. I, I was amazed how fast I flew through this, but it isn't cruelty free, so I wouldn't repurchase. And as you guys can see, I did just take that sponge tip off there and I just twisted it up and put it directly onto my facial sponge and applied it that way. And then I did finish up this Dr. Jart Sikapair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment right here. This was green and then it would turn, um, it would turn kind of like my skin tone. Um, I don't really need this. I just used it up because I had it and I didn't have anybody to give it to and I didn't just want to throw it away. I did use it up. I would not repurchase this one at all though. I don't really think it did anything for me. I did finish one setting spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. I do really enjoy this one. I love the fine mister on it. Um, not cruelty free, so I won't buy it, but I do have one more that I'm working on, and then once I'm done with that, all of my Morphe setting sprays are completely gone. So, one left, and I'm enjoying it while I can before it's gone. I do have a couple of like face uh, products. 
I have a sample of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Full Coverage Foundation. Mine was in the shade Y315. As you guys can see, I did cut it apart. I did take this off so I could get every last bit out of there, and I did scrape it out, as you guys can see, by all those windows in there. I did really enjoy this one. This one is a bit too dark for me, so I had to combine it with this e.l.f. Mix to Match Adjuster. This is in white, and I did completely finish this one off as well. I have been trying to go through lots of little foundation samples like this, but the problem is a lot of them are way too dark for me, so I'm going through a lot of foundation adjusters to mix with it so that I can use them up. So those two are both empty. Next, we'll kind of do lashes. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this duo. This is the Dark Tone Lash Glue. I do really, really like this. It's just I think I've had this one for a while, and it was getting to the point where it was starting to make my eyes water a, a bit every time I wore my false lashes. I'm not sure if it's this and because of its age, but I did switch over to, I believe it's a House of Lashes Lash Glue. It dries down clear. And ever since I have switched to that one, uh, my eyes have completely stopped watering when I've put on false lashes. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, I don't think the issue was with this. I think it's just the age of this. So I did use this a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and count this in my empties, even though it isn't completely empty. I did use the grand majority of this. I do have two uh, mascaras. The first one is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This one does nothing for my lashes, so I would always have to wear a second mascara with it. Um, so I don't like this one at all. It just doesn't add any length, doesn't add any volume. It just, I mean, it coats them a little bit and makes them look a little bit darker, but that's all it does for my lashes. And I did start to combine it with this Almay One Coat Multi-Benefit um, what is this? <laughs> Mascara. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Um, this one I got about two months worth out of and then I'm, I stopped using it. This is my oldest mascara in my entire collection. I bought this years ago and I never opened it. And when I did open it, it didn't smell bad at all. It worked great. But after two months, I'm to the point where I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. I did use this a lot and I do really enjoy that th this was the mascara that I would buy all the time and I wore this one for years and then I just stopped wearing makeup so this one just sat around for a long time but I prop there is more product in here but I don't want to keep using it because of its age and it's I'm noticing it start to change a little bit so rather than mess with my eyes we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this one next I have two eyeliners the first one is the ColourPop creme gel liner in the shade puppy which is this orange one right here I used it up a bit, however this is one that kept breaking and it was a little bit dry. Um, I do have other ColourPop creme gel liners that work phenomenal, however this one was super dry on me um, and then the last little bit broke off and hit the floor. So this one is gone. Um, I do love these. I just wish this one performed as well as the other ones do that are the same age. And then I did finish off this IT Super Hero liner. This is in black. It is a brush tip. I mean, it is such a fine point, but it is a brush tip applicator, and I'm calling this one done. It is a sample size, and I did get a little over two months worth of use out of this, um, but it is starting to skip, and it would leave lots of spots, and I'd have to keep going over and over and over my eyeliner. So I'm calling this one empty because I don't think there's that much more in here but I mean for a sample I'm thrilled to have gotten two months worth of use out of this love this and I would consider repurchasing this in the future once I get through all of my other eyeliners I do have a highlighter empty this is the iconic London illuminator in original this is a liquid highlighter and as you guys know I mix them in with my lotions and I couldn't count this down until this lotion was done that's what's change the color of the lotion here is this highlighter and I do had I did mix in a little bit of a powdered highlighter as well so I did really enjoy using this one um, in my lotions it's just way too dark for my uh, face and then I do have another one I'm working on um, it's I forget which brand it is I think it's cover effects but it's blue and I don't want a sh super shimmery blue highlighter on my face so I will be mixing that in with lotions as well but this one is great. I don't know that I would ever consider purchasing a liquid highlighter for my face. I just wouldn't, and I don't feel the need to 
buy them to put them into my lotions. So down one, I just have one more liquid highlighter to go and then I won't have that category in my collection anymore. I do have two powders that I finished up. One is this Hourglass Translucent uh, Setting Powder right here. This was a, I think this was my birthday gift from Sephora. It came with this and a little um, Hourglass Primer. So I did really enjoy this powder. I would consider buying this in the future. Um, obviously there are a lot more that are that work just as well that don't cost as much but I did really enjoy this one so I did finish this one up and then I did finish my Neutrogena oil-free pressed powder in fair this was in my graveyard project pan and it wasn't quite done but now it is completely empty I have finished that off I did repress it it was just the smallest ring all the way around the edges I did repress it towards the middle and this one is gone. I did enjoy this, but this was my oldest powder. Um, this is something that my mom bought years ago. It was the wrong shade for her and she gave it to me and I just kept it for a couple years in a drawer and I finally decided to pull it out. The Graveyard Project Pan gave me the push I needed to pull this out and work on it and get it out of my collection. Last, I have a couple of lip products. I did finish off this Malibu Chapstick. Um, this one, is completely gone. I did scrape out as much as I could out of there. Um, it's okay. It's not my favorite lip balm to wear. This one was getting very close to its expiration, so I'm glad I used it up um, before it went bad on me. So I'm happy that this one is gone. And then I did use up a little Buxom lip gloss. I believe this is in the shade Dolly. I did just show this in my Beauty A to Z project pan. It is completely gone. And as you guys can see, I got every last bit out of there. So this is another lip gloss empty for the year. And I actually have one more, which is this ColourPop So Juicy lip gloss in the shade Partly Rowdy. This one was in my Harry Potter project pan. I got so many uses out of this one. I, I wanna say it was close to 175 uses. And I did have previous use on it before I put it into the project, but this is completely gone. I loved this. Um, I have two more of these and I'm so excited to use them because I think these are wonderful. These little squeezy tubes don't bug me at all. I'd rather have a squeezy tube um, than one that I have to actually dip my finger in to put it on my lips. So I don't mind these at all. I absolutely love this. So I have finished off 21 makeup items. I think I got them all. That totaled $152.94 and of the 21 items, seven of them were not cruelty free. So I finished off 35 total items, 14 are non cruelty free and the total is $400.40. So I am really happy with how much I have here and um, that I'm just still just cranking through those numbers. I really want to get them down. Before we go, I do want to quickly sneak in a giveaway here. I have four palettes that I want to give away um, and I have hidden one already in a video. This is the second one I am putting in a video. I am just randomly putting these into videos so that the people who truly watch my channel will win this. I don't want to put it in the title of the give um, of the video so that people don't just come on over and randomly try to enter this and they're not interested in my channel at all. So I will have um, all of the items, all of the rules for the giveaway down in the description box below. But what I'm giving away is this ColourPop and Star Wars Mandalorian palette. This is brand new. I did pick um, one of these up specifically to give away to you guys as a way of saying thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Um, one entry per person. Um, if you guys are want to enter, please leave a way for me to contact you, either like your Instagram handle or email something, some way I can get a hold of you. And also, if you guys could leave an emoji, either leave like a star, um, something dealing with Star Wars, a little spaceship, an alien, something so that I know that you guys are entering the giveaway and you're not just leaving a comment on this video. So what I want you guys to do, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, did you guys get anything for Black Friday? And if so, what did you pick up? That's what I want to hear um, down below. And that's how you're going to be able to enter into this giveaway. 
So that is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I do have, like I told you at the beginning, my whole year-long empties coming up um, and a whole bunch of, well, three different finales. I have my inventory. I've got lots and lots of videos coming up. I'm having to do lots of filming. So if you guys want to watch all of that, you don't want to miss out on any of my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.